and welcome to the second episode of the Pink Lady Apple Nigeria Appalicious Vlog. This Pink Lady Apple season, we are excited to share the uniqueness and showcase the versatility of Pink Lady Apples. I am your host, Atinika Sede, popularly known as Nikki. In today's episode, we have a very special guest with us in the kitchen. Together, we'll be making a delicious sweet sauce that will go perfectly with your next plate of rice. All this today on the Pink Lady Apple Nigeria Appalicious Vlog. So guys, today we have a very special guest with us in the kitchen. He is a content creator, an influencer, a huge foodie, and a fellow pink lady lover. Welcome, Daniel Ochuko! <laughs> I feel like I'm going to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Daniel, for joining us in the kitchen today. We are so excited to have you. Daniel, what are we cooking for our audience today? Okay, so first of all, today we're making something really quick and easy, mm. something really sweet because we're featuring Pink Lady Apples, so yes. it has to be sweet. Yes. But the best thing is that it's easy to make and yes. you don't have to sweat in the kitchen. Mm. And it can also pair well with your rice. I usually go with basmati rice, but you can pair with any other type of rice, but yeah. I would recommend you to basmati rice. But yeah. What's important is that it is quick, it is mm -hmm. easy, and it is really, really sweet. Yes, I love, I love the fact that it's very quick, so it will make a great um, week night yeah. meal yeah. for those busy days when you come back home late from work and you just need something. And even when you're one of those people that like fancy things, this, exactly. this, also, this counts. Will also counts. This also counts. Yes. And I also make it like a love word, yes. self love. That yes. is the thing. Yes. You can make it it's really, really easy. Yes. You love it. Yes. Yes. Lovely, lovely. I can't wait for us to get cooking. So, Daniel, before we get started, let's have a look at the ingredients we'll be using today. Now, okay. let's get started by cutting mm -hmm. the um, apples into strips. Okay. The knife. Get this one. Yes. Okay. I don't know how you guys are. What I like to do is just make this. <laughs> so it's not <laughs> I like that. I think, I think I'm going, going to. I'm going to also do my own. Okay. Yes, yes. So okay. this is the pink lady. Badge of honor. honor. <laughs> okay, I'm start cutting my already cleaned yes. apples. Please make sure you're cleaning your apples. Yes. Um, yeah. A nice tip: what I usually like to do when I um to get my wrap my apples ready for eating yeah. is I pour a little bit of baking soda on the apples yeah. and then I pour white vinegar on the apples as well and then I take it to the sink and rinse it properly. So this helps to get rid of dirt. And germs, you know, anything that will not allow your apples to stay fresh. So something that I actually like, I actually like doing when mm -hmm. I'm working with apples, yeah. especially pink lady apple, mm -hmm. is that I put a little bit of vinegar into plain water okay. just to make sure that I'm stopping the browning process. So just like okay. this, I put it here. When I'm ready to chop it, I just pick it back up. Okay. Go on uh, like with my business. And Beautiful stuff. tip. So Beautiful I can also tip. I can also do the same thing. Okay. Once I'm done. Yeah. Also, please remember to cut out the core the of core. the uh, most important of the apples. Apples. Yes. It's important that you okay. do that. Okay. Okay. So outside of that, you you're good. Yeah. Okay. Just one way to make sure that your apples stay fresh and okay. whatnot. Okay. Okay. Lovely. So Daniel, what other tips do you have for us? to keep our pink lady apples fresh and crunchy for a long time. First things first, please just put it on the countertop. I do not yes. like to put apples in the, in the fridge, fridge or freezer. Or freezer. We, we don't need it at all. <laughs> yes. Unless, unless mm -hmm. it's for smoothies. Okay. It's for smoothies, absolutely, you can do that. Okay. But keep it on the countertop. Don't get water coming in contact with it because yes. water, uh, nothing called 
increases the rate of spoilage. Spoilage, yes, yeah. yes. So you want to make sure that it's on a counter top, okay. and also like at dry if it is wet. Yes, and okay. Yeah, that's just in a ventilated space. I feel okay. like it would go weeks. Okay, you can't yes. Have anything going bad. Okay. As far as not like in contact with water, that's okay. one thing I always um, tell myself. And if you must put it in the fridge, if mm-hmm. you must, make sure that it's on the lowest um, the cabinet. Yeah, that call okay. Just, just make sure that like it's crisp. This Chris, uh, Chris cabinet. Yes, yeah, yes. Just make, sure, just make sure it's there. Okay. Point out that you guys might find this kind of yeah. apples in your local markets or this kind. So the ones that are yellowish in color like this and the ones that are very red. Very red. So essentially, it doesn't mean that it's bad or no. different or it's not even pink ladies' apples. Yes. They're, they're very much like a lot of area yeah, yes. so you can always get different one but what is important is that yes. it comes with the badge of honor yes <laughs> the pink lady badge of honor yeah. as long as it has that you are good yeah, you to, go. to go yes to go. okay so now that we have all our in- ingredients prepped let's start cooking okay so we're going to use our oil first you can use vegetable oil or you can also decide to use canola oil yes anyone you want to use honestly yeah. it's very fine and if you're part of the oil police <laughs> So just about two tablespoons of oil. Yeah. So what you can also do is just swell. Yeah, just just a little bit of this. It's not okay. that deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then let the oil eat up a bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Don't go and burn somebody's house. Let the oil eat up before pressing your chopped onions. chopped onions, okay? So Daniel, before our oil heats up, okay. tell us what inspired you to start creating content. I'm always on this page, you guys. Like, I'm glued to that page. All the mede mede, all the yummy, yummy, yummy stuff. I say, oh my god, that's so delicious. So, I feel like when it comes to that particular question, I've like, answered that question like 10 times. <laughs> but I'd say, so I started creating content because I'd seen somebody create content and I mm. love the way she created content, which is Jim mm. Naomi. Mm. And she's actually not a food person, she's a yes. music person, but I just got inspired by her and then mm. I said, you know, Start creating content based on mm. what I felt comfortable doing. Mm. I already loved cooking. I was okay. already cooking. Mm-hmm. Right? So, so the thing of choose the one that is easy for you, mm-hmm. so you don't have to do too much work. Because yes. the content creation is a lot of work. It is. And so that's essentially what what I did. Okay. And also, I've been watching a lot of um, a couple, not a lot, of okay. food content creators. C C N U number one, no chinyere, C C G M I M A. So okay. the thing where I now said, okay, you already know these people. Just do your thing. Try your best. To make sure it's original to you. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. this kind of player like that. So okay. Then be nice. mm, okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. Those people that you mentioned also inspired <laughs> my own content creation journey too. Yes, right. And I have a couple of foreign guys that I watch as well. Because those ones, they like set the bar really high. <laughs> So they, make me, exactly. they make me sit up more. <laughs> that, that's, another, that's another thing. Because yes. at the time when I discovered the Maui, it was a thing where the quality of the content, mm-hmm. I made sure of it. Very really high quality. Right. Yeah. So very high quality. Yeah, it, was a, it was a very high thing. So I'm like, oh, yeah, we can put Should it. Should we add in the garlic? Yeah. Okay. So, so guys, we are fine. Our onions now. We just added the garlic. We usually like to add garlic after onion so yeah. that it doesn't burn. And also bring that over the flavor. With flavor and so so Yes, yeah, your kitchen should be tantalizing everybody around it. Yes, okay, yeah. So the water meeting is a very big watch for fun, and I think I think that I've been able to do that with like my content. So when people mm-hmm. see my content, mm-hmm. they know it's Daniel's content because yeah. of its certain quality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's up to you to decide if the quality is up to you. It's up to you mm-hmm. you want, but mm-hmm. I think it is. So that's what I've been able to do for myself. Okay, lovely. So I think we should go in next yeah, with chicken. our chicken breast. So guys, this is um, chicken breast has been cut into cubes. So this will cook really fast because number one is chicken breast. Yeah, it doesn't take long to cook. cook and it has been cut into small cubes to also make it cook faster. Already, Daniel, this kitchen I love garlic. I love garlic. I have my aromatics. I call them aromatics. They are like the standard in my cooking. Yeah. These are the things I add first. Garlic, onion, yeah, yeah. and pepper. Because pepper. pepper. I'm not going to love my pepper. Yes. I'm going to love my pepper. I can't 
Habanero pepper. So we use green and red habanero pepper. So that we're going in now. For give up if we start sneezing, that is the hallmark, the number one sign that you are eating, eating, eating pepper. You are eating enough pepper. You start sneezing. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. If you don't want to use as much pepper, pepper. You, don't have you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. Yes. You can also use uh, chili flakes. In place of the abanero pepper, just a little just amount. Yes, to just give it a little bit of heat. So, so next, you. we go in with our carrots because they are a little bit tough, so we need to put okay. it next yeah. so that it will soften up. So while our carrots oh. is frying, let's reduce our heat. So while Daniel is stirring our pots, let me make the Sauce that. So we should go in now with our apples because they also need to get soft. Mm -hmm. So guys, remember our apples are in the vinegar water. Which is not brown. Actually, that's why they're actually they are not brown. not brown. Deliciously white. Drain the water off and add our apples into our pots. Okay. Mm. Mm. I actually love when I add like stuff with a lot of color mm -hmm. into my food. Just yes. And if you have children. Mm -hmm. Mm. Actually, it's, it's of course, with mm -hmm. less pepper. Yes, with less pepper. It's a way to entice your children to eating more vegetables and things that are actually healthy for them. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, you know, you see an apple, they keep the doctor. Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> so, you can also do that to mm -hmm. make sure that your children eat like, more apples and stuff. Yeah, so Daniel, we have this sauce. What other ways do you like to enjoy your pink lady apples? Honestly, parfait. I'm a parfait girl. I'm a general girl. Yes. I want to have like pink lady apples with granola. With um, Greek yogurt, cafe, I want to even incorporate in my smoothie. Yes. Like, since I have a mm -hmm. bag of it, okay. which I can make like smoothies really, really easy whenever I want to go out. Yes. I just want to go to the house and not something to um, drop. Yes. So I do that. Um, another way, honestly, is incorporating like my dates. I bake a lot. I love sweet mouths. Mm -hmm. I like that. I also <laughs> yeah, so sweet too. Very good sweet <laughs> So I always try to, or I try to do like stuff like that. That's okay. one way actually. Mm. Uh, that's not one way, but that's so many So many I think, guys, there are so many ways for you to enjoy your pink lady apples. My husband personally loves parfait. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he likes to have his pink lady apple parfait. Work <laughs> when is uh, when is going to work in the morning. So now we are going in with our sauce. So add more water. Love we are going in with the sauce and just a little bit of water. Daniel, this sauce is already it's actually looking really it's already nice. tantalizing it's actually my belly. <laughs> so now let's just add our seasonings. So you want to tell okay, so actually, are... the reason we're adding the seasoning now because soy sauce and uh, most of sauce, sauce has yeah. like a little bit of salt content. In yes. It. So you want to make sure you're adding those first so mm -hmm. that you can now gauge yeah. whether you need seasoning or to not add to your what's called to your sauce. Yes. To your mm. You don't want to mm, 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 mm. no, The sauce is calling my name. So the sauce is supposed to be tea. Yes, like it's a lot of water inside of it. But no. again, like we said, we're eating the rice. rice. So you want to be very, very careful yes. that it doesn't. Yes, it's not watery. Yes. So, guys, the way we are seeing it in the pot, 
is the way exactly. it's supposed to look. And as you can tell, I've been staring and staring at yes, yes. Sure that Yes, yes. Evenly and that's nothing that's burns. Right. Yes. Apples are soft. The sauce has thickened a yeah. little bit. So this is exactly what we want. So now we are going in with the last ingredient, which is uh, green bell pepper. Mm. Just came together. It's looking mm. vibrant. So we added the green pepper last because we still want that Crunch. crunch from the bell peppers. And of course, the green remains vibrant. Yeah. And at this point, you can actually just turn off your heat. Because they did the so let's do that. The residual heat will cook. Just to use our butter, and that's it. We're ready. Like we said, we're not supposed to do too much with this. We're not supposed to do too much with this. We're not yes. supposed to go to above it's and beyond. Beyond simple, easy, quick using pink lady apples. Okay. So are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready to serve. To serve with eat. our rice. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, let's go. grab our rice. <laughs> So Daniel, are you ready to taste our uh, pink lady like apple it. sweet sauce? Okay. okay, let's give it a taste. Mm -mm -mm. Let me keep it for all day. Oh my goodness. Wow. The apple well. sweet. Just the perfect sweetness. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Just it has perfect for the sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. The perfect heat. Mm -hmm. uh, pepper, perfect uh, chicken, well cooked, really delicious. As a man, uh, the apples, they are soft but still crunchy. The signature pink lady apple crunch. Mm. Now it's your turn to make this delicious pink lady apple sauce. Don't forget to take pretty pictures of your pink lady apple sauce and tag us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Also leave a comment below telling us what you will pair this delicious pink lady apple sauce with. Thank you very much guys for joining us today on the Pink Lady Nigeria Appalicious vlog. And thank you so much Daniel for cooking this delicious sauce with us i actually can't stop eating <laughs> i'm telling you i can't so wait let's... to get back to eating my own sauce so don't forget to click the like button yes the subscribe button yes share 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 share